Today I'm going to be explaining world tiers, telling you exactly what you get for them, and showing you which one is best for you. So to start the game, you get two options. You have World Tier 1, Adventurer, and World Tier 2, Veteran. World Tier 1 is the easiest mode. There is no bonuses. Enemies are as weak as they possibly can be. World Tier 2. Now this is recommended for levels 1 to 50. You will get 20% increased experience and 15% more gold when you defeat monsters now it is very worth noting there is no increased drop rate to gear legends any of that 20 percent increased experience 15 percent more gold now it is very worth noting that in my personal testing farming going back and forth between one and two you can actually kill 20 percent faster by picking world tier one so as far as leveling up is concerned, it really is how difficult do you want the game to be? Do you want to push yourself at the start or do you want it to be easier? Now, if you're moving with a group of four that is straight annihilating everything, obviously you want World Tier 2. But otherwise, you might want to just stick with World Tier 1 and make it a little easier on yourself. Or you might want World Tier 2. And push yourself a little more that is going to be your choice but the bonus for picking world tier 2 is 20 percent increased experience 15 percent more gold moving on we have world tier 3 nightmare so to unlock nightmare you must beat the campaign and you must beat the capstone dungeon on the highest world tier available which means you will have to beat the capstone dungeon on world tier 2. This world tier is recommended for levels between 50 and 70. This will drop the player's resistances by 20%. Champion monsters can also create damage resistance auras to make matters worse. Fortunately, monsters now give 100% more experience, which is a nice boost, and they drop 15% more gold. Helltide events can appear across Sanctuary, giving players an opportunity to receive cinders and create legendary items. You can also receive Nightmare Sigils to unlock Nightmare Dungeons, another challenging endgame activity. Finally, sacred and unique items can drop for the first time, giving players a chance to earn higher tier items. So you do get a lot of upside for selecting Nightmare. And if you can handle Nightmare, yes, at this point it's worth selecting Nightmare, but we also have World Tier 4 Hell. For our hardcore players, you probably do want to pick World Tier 4 Hell. This difficulty definitely gives you the best bonuses. This World Tier is unlocked by completing the Fallen Temple Capstone Dungeon in Northeastern Dry Steps on World Tier 3. Most of the changes in the previous world tier are present, except monsters now overcome 40% resistances, 15% more gold, but 200% more experience points. You also now have the chance to loot ancestral items as well as more unique items. These are some of the best items in the game. To put it simply, this is why most hardcore players pick world tier 4. And that is all the bonuses and how you unlock each world tier. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.